Once a T cell has undergone the maturation process and before it encounters its antigen, it will be called a naive lymphocyte. So a naive lymphocyte is one that has not encountered and been activated by its antigen. You have many naive lymphocytes in your body right now, and you will probably die with naive lymphocytes because you won't be exposed to all of the antigens for which you have lymphocytes. The naive lymphocyte then will leave the primary lymphoid organ and move into secondary lymphoid organs if they encounter their specific antigen, they will become activated. So that's the difference between a naive lymphocyte and an activated lymphocyte. The movement of the naive lymphocyte into the secondary lymphoid organs is called seeding. Think about throwing out seeds if you are trying to plant a garden. So they are moving out from the primary lymphoid organ in this seeding process, but they haven't encountered their lymphocytes yet, so they are still naive. Let's look at lymphocyte activation now. How does this occur? Recall, you, have, you start with a naive lymphocyte and it encounters its antigen. The antigen has to bind to either the TCR or the BCR depending upon what type of lymphocyte you have. If it's a B lymphocyte, the antigen must bind to the BCR, and for a T lymphocyte, to the TCR. Recall that these receptors are proteins and are specific to the antigen. So each lymphocyte was, must bind with its specific antigen during activation. The first step then, of the activation is the binding of the antigen to the receptor. Once the binding occurs, once you have the clonal selection, the lymphocyte begins to divide and multiply, that is proliferation. The daughter cells will all have the same receptors, meaning that they will respond, recognize, and bind with exactly the same antigen. So they will be clones of the original lymphocyte, identical to the original lymphocyte, being able to recognize the same antigen as the mother cell, the one that was activated. So all of the daughter cells are clones and they will begin to specialize or differentiate into two lines of cells. Now they all have the same receptors for the antigens, but you will have some that will be effector cells and some that will be memory cells. Most of the cells will be effector cells. What is the difference between these two? An effector cell is the cell that carries out the function of that immune uh, response of eliminating the antigens. The memory cells are going to be cells that stick around. They will be there for in case you are exposed to the same antigen again. And if the same antigen is, infects you again, these memory cells then will mount an attack. They've already been activated, so you don't have to go through the whole process of activation. They can mount an attack very quickly and eliminate the antigen. Therefore, subsequent exposures to the same antigen will result in a stronger, more effective response in eliminating that antigen. Don't forget that T cells must have their antigens presented to them on MHCs. Stop this video and use this illustration to review what we've covered so far in the formation, maturation, and activation of the lymphocytes. This is a great illustration for that.